Oh, welcome back for more Metroid. Day. So yeah, we were just gonna run forward. I mean, I already hit the start recording button, but it's like I forgot to say. Anyway, so where am I? We're in Mag more caverns now. Ah, you go away. I think those are called screes. They transitioned from 2D to 3D pretty well, I guess you could say, because they're identical. Transition transitioned identically. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a phrase anyone says. I think it's funny you can see my uh, my uh, user profile name there on my PC. It just auto it automatically set it to like the first few characters of my email address that I have my Microsoft account linked to. So yep, my PC is insan. New creature has recorded the uh, yeah. Grisby! Like Frisbee, but it's not nearly as fun. It's been breached by missiles, that's what I thought. It's been fused together with superheated air and water. I'm not invested in the, the story of the animals. I'm more concerned with the locations. So you know, chosen ruins are chosen ruins, which I guess I forgot to scan those those He okay, um should I uh, door, door. I guess I should not be here yet. So, oops. Stop, map. There. So, if not Magmore Caverns, then where? Maybe we want to go back to the overworld. Well, there, there are several doors there that I didn't even try to reach. I don't know that there are any power-ups waiting for us in the overworld. But I guess I can go look. <sighs> Honestly, I already... I, I kind of hate that I'm already at the point where like, I don't know where to go. But it... I, I wouldn't expect the game to want me to push through the superheated area, because other than Metroid M, other, other than other M, no Metroid game has really forced you to run through a superheated, superheated area without superheated protection. Always wear superheated protection. That's such a stupid joke, I'm sorry. <sighs> Where am I going? Full access is probably the fastest way. Oh yeah, there's that door. Maybe I can reach that door now? The one that leads to, like, here? Maybe I'm just super dumb. And just haven't... F I mean, you know, I've definitely not fully explored my options, but... <laughs> Dude! Yeah, see, here's some stuff I, I really shouldn't have been passing up, but have been passing up. These sparkly walls. Which shows a lore. I should be reading this. Chozo script translated. Our sanctuary grows by the day. We Chozo do... Why is Chozo so much harder to read than Space Pirate? We Chozo know much of technology, but we have chosen to leave it behind on this journey. Sure. Our home planet here on Town 4 will be a place of simplicity. Structures hewn from stone, bridges woven with branches. That does not sound like a good bridge. You should probably... Make that out of stone as well, also. Probably. Hallways ca caressed by pure waters. Having trouble imagining a hallway caressed by pure water. We build around the ancient and noble trees, drawing from their strength and giving them our own in return. All that is wild will flow around us here. Our race will be just one more group of creatures in the knit of nature. It is our hope that with such a state, we will bring with it greater wisdom, a greater understanding of the nature of the universe. Like the Chozo haven't already figured everything out already, I would think. Once our city here is complete, we will peer inward and discover the truth. Sure did do a good job of leaving technology behind with your fancy sparkly walls. I, mean, I guess it's supposed to be like, hey, look, here's a thing you can scan. You should probably scan it. And then you scan it to log the... Uh, 
basically hieroglyphs, I guess. Chozo writing. Is there anything to scan in this room? Seems like a weird... Uh, well, there, no, that's energy. Okay. Well, it's a matter of time until I scan one of those. It's also a little disappointing that these doors don't also have things on them, like in the, the pirate fortress. Or the pirate frigate. Where it's like, hey, this door leads to this area. I mean, you know, you have a map here. Well, I guess I had a map back there, too. Oh, I thought there was there were signs here. Oh, yeah, duh. You just, right here. Is it going to be a missile door blocking my path, then? Or, no, wait, wait, wait. It's Morph Ball, of course. I remember now. It means, I don't know where to go. Do I go back to Talon Overworld? I don't like this. Yep. Yeah. Again, this, this is what I'm going to call using my adult brain. It's exhausting my options before I start to be like, where do I go? I don't know. Because... I did, I did play, but like, I was, a, I think, a teenager when I first played through this. If, you know, in the teen range, if not, like, you know, early teens, like, at least late teens or something. But yeah, definitely several years ago. And I had not as good of a thinking brain back then. And I've got a better mind for puzzles and stuff now, so it's... Things should hopefully go smoother. Oh, there's those missiles over there. It's kind of dark in here, so I should not kill the fireflies. It's like that one room in Super Metroid. What's this? I can scan it. Cool. Fountain choked by overgrowth. Toxin levels are that high. They're already in my throat. Uh, uh. Okay. Don't ham it up. This is my throat's dry from talking. This is my third recording this time. I will scan those guys one of these days. Now is not the time. Tomorrow does grease. Oh no, it's this room. I hate this room. Hopefully I will not hate this room. You know, with my adult brain. Being able to be like, well, you know, I don't have to come through this room. Because I know where I'm going and it is not... And it is not through this room. Like, you know, plot better course, more efficient courses. And... <sighs> Thanks, map. And, you know, actually remember where I can use certain items that I just got. Like Morph Ball. Yeah, my last power-up was Morph Ball. And that's what made me realize, like, oh, duh. This way. Because, yeah, you go across that bridge. You find the... That's not free aim. Okay, yeah, see, here, here again, it's like, okay, well, I gotta remember this. I can't break those. I don't think. No. And we haven't even seen the power-up that destroys them yet. I'll jump for that, sure. So, we can't go higher. But we can shoot a missile at that door! That, that... Oh, ooh, that's not good. Um, I thought it was... Gonna be able to jump up. Okay. We're good. We're at 70 energy. Or basically 270. Because every tank is a 100. Gonna make that. Nope. Okay. Samus is a lot heavier in this game. Than she is in previous games. Like this. The jump she's making right now. Like... Okay, it's, it's still pretty superhuman, but they're they're like like one third of the height she normally jumps. I don't know, maybe I'm over overestimating there. But yeah, we gotta remember though those boxes up there, and, and it said there was a save point over here. I'm gonna try to end this session at a save point because I, I actually did want to stop. But I wasn't at a save point, so I'm like, you know what, I guess i got to keep going. Let's play for another, like, 20 or so minutes. It's fine. I'm not in a bad mood, so it's not like I have to stop. I mean, my, like I said, my throat's a little dry, but uh, I'm still with some water. 
Okay, so uh, I know we can go higher in this room. And actually, you can see it on the map. Got to remember, I have that over there in the corner. But let's go low first. Let's try to be a little more efficient in our uh, exploring. And these guys are blast caps. Volatile chemicals within these, these weeds, toxins, fungal cap. The weeds, fungal cap. So it's a weed, but it's also a, a mushroom. It's two kinds of drugs. They explode. I think once you get charge beam back, you can hit him with charge beam to make them all explode. <laughs> I also hit the door. Oops. I want to say it's this game that actually introduces the, the tidbit of lore. Where it's like, yeah, you know why you gotta shoot the door to open it? It's because it's an automatic door. But we don't want an opening for just any old creature. It's gotta be for a person. So you have to shoot it to activate it to open it. That which fouls the waters seeks the sun. Well, what's that say? The great poison comes from Talon's core. I guess we gotta go to the core. Excuse me. Core of the planet to solve the toxin. Scan the screen. Scan it. Scan the screen. Okay. That was too late. Toxin levels indicate. Toxin levels elevated. Analysis indicates proximity to source less than 300 meters. So I guess whatever's poisoning the water is nearby. That's what they're saying there. Ow! Oop! Yep. I thought it was gonna land on that stone. Oh, blast caps, cool. What's that, what's that sound? Not morph ball. Oh, missiles, hello. So every time you pick up missiles after you've got missiles, you get more missiles. That's how it works. It's actually, that's... Again, with squeeze, and I'm not... Shooting, and that's not a missile button. That was a thing, and at least, um, like, well, yeah, I guess I guess I could say most Metroid games, but like, your first, technically, there's no power up for getting missiles or any other such weapon that takes ammo. You always get a, a tank. Ow! I'm trying to explain things here. You know, so it's it's just a regular old missile tank, and what makes it. There's, it's technically the same item, like, even in the original Metroid, it's just like, hey, it's a, it's just a missile tank. And if you pick up a missile tank other than the one they intend for you to get first, it's still, it still does the, the same jingle. And, like, in uh, Zero Mission, I, in particular, I remember there being a place where you can get super missiles early by picking up a super missile tank that's not the one you're meant to get first. What do you... Are you just... Reaper Vine, Powerful Rock Dwelling Tentacle. Just... Get out of here. I hate you. Then comes scan data. I don't want to scan data. I know where I am. Uh... Excuse me. Shut up. I don't want the hint right now. I'm supposed to be finding scan runes. Hopefully I can find them all with the acid. You know, being acid. Winning symbol has been activated. Four running symbols in this room must be activated. Oh, four in total. Okay, I, th I thought it was saying four remaining on the other one. Nope. So that's that's two. Ugh. I don't think I'm ever going get, to get used to the buttons. I might be able to actually hook up a, a GameCube controller to play this with. I'm using a PS4 controller. Because that's just, you know, it's easy to plug it in, play with it. Oh, look! There's a rune under the mushrooms. There. But I might be able to, to borrow the um, USB to... The, 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 the Smash controller thingy. That you use to play GameCubes. You use GameCube controllers on Wii U. Jeez, can't complete that thought. Just a go away map. You would be helpful later on, but not right now. Also, you would have been helpful when I went into, into, into Magmore Caverns. It's like, I don't know what to do. Although, I'd rather this be a recurring thing of me getting mad at the hints showing up when I don't need a hint. 
than, you know, the opposite of not having a hint when I really need a hint. <clears throat> Jeez, my throat, would you stop attacking yourself? Jeez, thumbs, would you hit the buttons? Yeah, like I was trying to say, I think I can hook up a, a, a GameCube controller by just plugging in the USB connector, putting a GameCube controller into that. Oh, here... Well, here's the room, but that's not what I wanted to say. Here I am thinking, oh, I should probably be careful. I'm probably low on energy. Nope! There. Oh, hammer! I didn't see a hammer rune. Let's see if I can finally make the jump to get back up there. I mean, it's a good thing I've been failing it, but jeez. First-person platforming is not necessarily a good thing. There's a reason why a big majority of platformers are in third-person. It has been on... Oh, okay. It's that easy. I was going to say, don't tell me we did that for missiles. I don't know what that is. Was that the purple? No, it's charge beam. Okay. Got charge beam back. Yeah! Combat's going to suck less now. It's going to return to his usual level of suck. Sorry, couldn't resist. It's going to return to the, the way it was before, where it's... It's not free aim. Is that a more ball thing? Well, you can't go through it yet. You gotta shoot a missile at it, maybe. No? Okay. Actually, you should be able to scan it. Yeah. An identifiable ob obstruction, approximately one meter wide, blocks the hole. Well, I guess we now we know how big morph ball is. It's about less than a meter. I think MatPat probably did a theory already on, like, how big Morph Ball is. But... <clears throat> you know, that's, that's not something I'm concerned with, really. I just think it's a little weird that... that uh, the Prime games depict Morph Ball as being basically being Samus crouching into the form of a ball, and then being surrounded by metal. I prefer to think of it as a literal morph. Oh. These rooms were like... Oh, the, the source of the acid is nearby. I was thinking, oh, that's probably going to lead to the source of the acid. Nope. So we got to go back. we got Charge Beam now. That's good. I don't know that it unlocks anything, but... <coughs> cool. Oh, yeah, wasn't I saying, like, shoot the blast caps with the Charge Beam, and they all die? Mostly. My throat is, is giving me such trouble, so I think I'm going to save and end here. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!